Hello lovely viewers, I warmly welcome you back to the Royal Kingdom Estates platform. Excitingly, this is a site video. We are right here at Grace City Phase 3 at Ibri and Manfo, and I am joined by our head engineer, Mr. Desmond, and we're going to be talking about a very interesting and exciting project that we have happening right here. How are you, sir? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good too. Um, I was telling somebody a few days ago that sometimes there is a vast difference between I will do mm -hmm. and I have done. Exactly. And I'm doing. Exactly. So what is happening is that there's a reason why we are doing this video now mm -hmm. so that we will tell you about the I have I will do mm -hmm. because we, we, we promised in previous videos yes. about the, the block factory exactly. that we have to do here yeah. and all. And then now we are doing. We are doing. So I'll be taking you through what we have done yes, and what we are expected to do. Yes, please. Before you even start, I'm sure people are very, very interested. They are wondering, um, what is the thought that influenced um, Royal Kingdom Estate to put up a block factory? All right. So you see, what you would expect to do as a real estate company, yeah. material production is one of the things which is key. Yeah. If I have to outsource my materials like blocks and other stuff, can I trust the blocks that are produced for me? Yeah. Now, if things go wrong, what happens? Mm -hmm. Clients will only look at what is wrong. Yeah. So we're looking at why don't we build a block factory, mm -hmm. make sure that the materials that we are using, we are aware of the materials, they're not finished products, yeah. so that we are able to ensure that the quality of blocks that we need mm -hmm. for our projects are done. Exactly. Okay. And it's not only going to be that. I can tell you in the near future, we are thinking of having a whole hardware factory nice. at Grace City. Okay. So that we'll be able to have everything. When you come here, you're having blocks, you're having mm -hmm. cement, you're having everything all that you need. All the materials. Need. Exactly. exactly. Oh, that's interesting. And then is there a specific reason why we are doing this project at Grace City Phase 3 and not our other developments? Okay. So usually you always start with your last child. Okay. <laughs> okay, training. Yeah. So, so what is happening is that um, f here at Phase Three, mm. as we keep on moving, we keep changing the models, we keep modifying it, yeah. and very soon we are going to be unveiling Phase Four. Wow, I'm very excited for we, that. We are going one. to be, and, and Phase Four will have a different approach. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is going to be different from what we are even seeing here. Okay. So we are starting from somewhere. Right. Now, what we are trying to do as a company is mm -hmm. to be able to ensure that the very things we are promising, mm -hmm. we are delivering. On them, yeah. We, we don't want the, the, the situation where you, 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 you speak so huge, highly of yourself, mm -hmm. and you're unable to deliver on your promises. Yeah. So these are key things that we are looking at. Okay. And so there's a reason why we are here. That is for us to start for everybody to see what mm -hmm. is going to happen yeah. and then we are able to sh showcase it to the whole world. That's amazing. Okay, so I think now we all have clarity on that front. So we're standing right at the entrance of the block factory. Yes, that's the, the main road okay. getting into phase three. Okay, wonderful. And we have done some few changes and I want to run you through them. Yes, please. Phase three is perhaps the biggest that we have yes. in terms of acreage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's around 94 acres. Okay. It means it's a huge community. Yes. So what we decided to do is to look at where to station the security posts. Okay. And we wanted it close to the main road. Okay. Initially, in the, in the first one, the security post was supposed to be down there. Oh. And we felt it's a bit further from here. Right. So what did we do as a company? We make sure we have gotten another 10 acre over here oh. so that we are able to use the space yes. for everything that we have to do. So that's the new 10 acre expansion. New 10 that we acre have. expansion. Wow, interesting. And the new 10 acre expansion, mm -hmm. this is it. So when you get into the mm -hmm. security post, yeah. you are here. So right this, is, this is premium. Wow. It's premium. Uh, normally, you leave the, the nicest part for the last. <laughs> <laughs> no, come and be screaming at the office very soon. But this is very, very, very amazing. Okay, so the gate post is going to be right yeah, here. Yeah, so what is happening is that there's a reason why we put... This is uh, actually a borehole that we have dug okay. here. There's a reason why we have the borehole here. And in fact, today, you're going to say it. We're going to pump water mm -hmm. into the tank for us to use wow. for all our construction ways that we're going to have here. It's functioning. It's functioning, yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. So the reason why we place it here is that from this portion mm -hmm. moving, yeah. right up to where you have the, 
the, the, the, the sand. Yes, Just right this there. One. Mm -hmm. The whole of this space is going to be a green park. A green park? Yes. Wow. And in, in the right near at future, the entrance. yes. Before the year will end, mm -hmm. when you come here, we want to come and see the finished product of the green park. Okay. I'm sure that's very exciting for a lot of people because yes. I've seen some clients hammering about the fact that we need the greenery. We are going to have the, yeah. the green park. Mm -hmm. We are going to even start with the security fence wall. Wow. So by the end of the year, I can promise you, mm -hmm. we should have the security posts. Mm -hmm. We should have the fence wall. Mm -hmm. We should have the green park in place. When you say the fence wall, the one running all around yes, the perimeter green, fence, the perimeter wall. fence yes. wall. Yes. Wow. We are starting that. By year end? Yes, by the end of the year, we should have it. That's very exciting. <laughs> and we have a lot of work to do then. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So work is going to start very soon. By next week, work is, is supposed to start. Okay. That's the more reason why we are expediting the production of blocks mm -hmm. that we are able to do that. So okay. next week, what, what is going to happen is that we're going to start with the excavation. Okay. So that we will be able to start with the fence wall. Yeah. Whilst we equally start preparing the green park. The, the green park is, is of so much importance. We are not yeah. waiting for anybody to develop their properties. No. Mm -hmm. The green park, we are going to complete it, yeah. have chairs in there mm -hmm. for you to be able to come in and sit, relax yourself. Wow. So when you visit your site, you want to have mm -hmm. a place with your family, yeah. you can leave your family in there. There will be hedges, there will be mm -hmm. trees, there will be stone garden. We have put all of them together. The layout sounds perfect. And so you can you can see the layout as I'm speaking, mm -hmm. so that you're able to yeah. make meaning out of it. Yeah. And we have the sketches, we are equally projecting them mm -hmm. right now as we speak. Yeah. So there's a whole lot that is going to happen here in the next couple of months. We know a brie is noted for rains and all. Mm -hmm. And so we had to hold on at, at a, a, a bit of time because okay. of the, the, the rain. Yeah. But it was disturbing the production. Water. Yeah. But now the rains are over. Mm -hmm. They will come in, but not as frequent as mm -hmm. it used to be. Right. And so we now have the opportunity for us to be able to start the work. Wow. Yes. I have to first and foremost commend you on it. And guys, of course, we're going to be here to take coverage of everything so you can be on the journey with us. It's not going to be like, oh, they said it and boom, they've done it. We're going to go step by step and we're all going to enjoy it accordingly. So, sir, what else is there? So what I would, I would, I would do is that we are not only, in fact, as we're here today, we are equally w working on the, the layout for the 10 acres. Okay. So we have gotten some PDS over there. Mm -hmm. So I will send you there, show you a few things before the guys will come in to start mm -hmm. with their production. Okay. Then I'll bring you back again so that you're able to see how we are producing the blocks here mm -hmm. so that you are able to understand the process. Yeah. What we are doing, I will even show you the materials that we have for the production okay. of the blocks so that at least everybody is able to know uh -huh. we are not just saying anything and producing just anything yeah but what we are saying is exactly what, what we are doing. doing and then bringing to um all our clients okay that brings me to uh, my next question as a real estate company how are you going to ensure that the materials that you're producing are going to be nothing but the best and how is it going to be different from what is being sold out there? Okay, so let me give you a few examples. Okay. That's a material right there. Mm -hmm. That's sand. Yes. Why am I not, not using it for the production of blocks? Why are you not? Because it's not good for, for, for blocks. Okay. So as a real estate company, why would I have all this material mm -hmm. here? And so buy new materials. Right. Look around, after we do our grading, we have a lot of sand. Mm -hmm. Look at look at the, the ground here. This, this, this soil is not so good for production of blocks. Right. We would have used them, but we ain't doing that mm -hmm. because we want to ensure we are using the right kind of material to produce our blocks. Oh, okay. 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 So quality control mm -hmm. is one of the keys that we look out for to ensure that we have the right material okay so the material is brought to site mm -hmm. we have resident engineers who are going to check to see that the materials are of the highest quality, quality. Okay. so if we have to use sand look okay. at this sand look at the color the nature yeah. this is more like river sand yes look That's at it a, yeah it's it's way different from the mud that we have exactly. here exactly again like I mentioned, these are the, are the pillars that we are, we are going to use for the demarcation. 
Wow. You can work on them. Nothing is happening. I can assure you that it's very durable. Now, let me equally bring you here. This is quarry dust. Okay. And you realize that it's not just dust, but dust with a bit of rocks yeah. in them. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that we are using for production of blocks. Wow. I that have more here. Uh -huh. Come see for yourself. So we check all this. So okay. if you have this in your block production, it contributes to the strength. The strength, absolutely. Okay. Wow. That is amazing. Then one of the things we look out for is compaction. Okay. Now these machines are done such that what we're looking at is that we don't want to have a situation where the power is off and we cannot be able to produce blocks. Yeah. So we have a powered gen machine here wow. to produce the block. So it, it, it depends solely on fuel. Okay. Now, there is an aspect of it that is able to compact the blocks. Mm -hmm. So that it's well compacted yeah. for use. Okay. You're not so have it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not going to have... be the, the, the manual one where you have to hit it. Right. No, 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 no. no. There's a compaction itself. And okay. during the production, you are going to see it in the next uh, few minutes. I can't wait. Uh, the, the, the boys are in, they are changing. Okay. And then I'll be able to showcase how the whole production is going to be over here for you to see. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, guys, stay tuned because we have so much more coming. We're going to demonstrate so you know exactly how we're going to go about our production to instill that trust uh, that you're going to have in us to be able to produce quality materials so stay tuned but before before you move mm -hmm. i also want to show you two uh, wooden pallets okay i see them right there yes so these are pallets under the nice shed these are the ones that are going to house the blocks okay yeah so each pallet is going to have two blocks on them whether right. it is six or five inch block okay and we have them over here are they the same um size yes the same size okay 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 so whether five or six inches or okay. five hollow six hollow these are the pallets we are going to be using okay so in the, in the near uh few days in the next two three four days yeah you're going to have so many blocks packed mm -hmm. over here for them to be able to go through uh drying mm -hmm. for us to be able to start using for whatever we have to use it for that's wonderful we Lovely. call it curing actually curing yeah okay <laughs> All right, guys, so I know most of you appreciate the transparency and that is what we keep on bringing to you. You now understand the workload that's going to go on. As um, our head engineer mentioned, from now till December, it's not going to be easy, but you know that Royal Kingdom Estate is fully capable of doing this and more. But at the moment, this is the block factory that we are putting up. And as you know, we still have a lot of plots that are available we just hinted on the new 10 acre uh, demarcation so if you want to join us right here at gray city phase 3 please contact us on all of our channels secure a plot for yourself today so you don't regret it later okay we'll be back with more